Hello everyone. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about Mercury Dimes or Winged Liberty Head Dimes. Um, here you'll find a complete set. And all of this page is actually very good. Um, the 16D probably had been lightly cleaned at one time. Still a very desirable coin. This coin was designed by Adolf Weinman. Um, most people call this the Mercury Dime, even though the figurehead on the dime is actually not Mercury. It's a figure of Liberty with a winged cap. So essentially it's supposed to be called the Winged Liberty Head Dime but the name Mercury Dime has just stuck so that's what people call it um, these can contain about 90 percent silver I did forget to mention the other two semi keys, which are the 21 and the 21D. They actually are better dates. Um, very good coin. There should be some lines in the fasces that must show on the reverse. I'm sure you can't see that, but that that's actually the back of the uh, 16D dime. Okay, next we move to the second page. And these are all unk except for the last coin. Now these coins here are actually not as easy to find and uncirculated as you would want as you would actually think that they would be. And some are very tough. Especially some of the earlier ones.
I decided not to go with the full split bands because I think their prices are a little inflated for what you're getting but to each his own if that's what you like Okay, that's a 45 micro S and a 45 regular S. I'll try and show them to you, but I don't know if you'll be able to actually see them. And 1942 over one. Another better date. And that's the back of the 40, 45s. I'm sure you can't make out the S's and see the difference, but... There it is. Thanks for watching.